Hey everybody, XNF Execution, God of Moo here, and welcome back to another silly car build in Forza Horizon 2. Today I'm going to be trying to build a ridiculous rally car, and my car of choice today is the Datsun 510 from 1970. It comes with a standard 96 brake horsepower. I think this is going to be a pretty... It's going to be a very good car if we can build it, and it works really well. I think it's going to be one that we can be proud of. That's race, rusty, rusty. I'm trying to look for a rally-ish one. That looks cool, actually. I'll give it that. Um, Muppets Fallout, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, just, just out of curiosity, can I get a rally livery for it? Let's just see. That's pretty rally. That's very rally. Police. Yeah, you're my star. That's cool. That's really cool. I think I like that one. Let's go with this one. Yes. Yes. Now, luckily... Storm Island um, upgrade parts aren't actually part of the Storm, Storm Island DLC. So I can actually put all of those Storm Island upgrades on this car. Hopefully they're available. They should be. They're available for most of them. This little Datsun is going to be a hell of a rally car. Let's just drive over to the garage. Oh, this thing is a, a slow little machine. Come on, Datsun, you're going to be an amazing vehicle. There we go. Okay, let's do this. Upgrades. Hey, what can I do? First off, drivetrain. Oh, it's already rear wheel drive. That's beautiful. But we are doing um, rally, so all wheel drive. And has it got a little. It does, actually. So we want 212. It doesn't weigh very much. What's it got in it? A 1.6. We could go to a 2 litre in line 4. That might actually be really good. Kicks out a nice little bit of power. Don't particularly want to put the V8 in there, especially for rallying. Um, so I don't want the 2.6 or the 2 litre. Hell, we're going stupid. Let's go for the 2.6 in line 6. Um, I can't turbocharge it. That's fine. This little rally machine. If I remove the front bumper, that's pretty rally, actually. Uh, no point in the wing. And remove the back bumper as well. Yes, we're going to get some weight loss going on here. Yes, okay, so we can put some rally off-road tyres on. Make them nice and wide. There we go, 225s all around. Drivetrain, we're definitely going to need some nice gear changes. So let's put on some off-road transmission. Yep, there we go. Nice bit of lag. Put the racing drive line on. And the differential, just so we can change it about if we need to. We've got to have those racing brakes. And we're going to put the off-road suspension on. Put them sway bars on. Probably want this thing to have about the 400, 450 brake horsepower mark. So there will be a little bit of tuning going on. And an extreme weight reduction. That can go to under, under a ton. Which is insane. Okay, so... My first point of call is going to be the camshafts. 416. Displacement, I probably want to keep it at 2.6. So, valves. That can get us to 439. Um, what about these turbos? 550. That's probably a little bit too much for what we're going for. I want to put this flywheel on, though. Put the sport flywheel on. 
Um, that ignition. Yep, I think that it is currently a car that can that's got um, a 454 brake horsepower per ton or something. This thing is going to be a little beast. Oh, yes, yes, it is. Oh yes, this is beautiful. Just colliding with people. And a tree. Nice tree. So, right. Need a li nice little off-road bit. Now, I think the best off-road bit is going to be... Yeah, this road down here. If I can start there and just drive down to the docks. I think that's the best off-roading section I can do. I'm pretty sure it's the docks. And this will give us a good test of what this car can do. You're listening to the Rising Pulse. Look at it, it's a beast. Little monster, this thing. Um, just going to quickly drop the tire pressures down. So, 28.5 and 28. Uh, that's fine. Anti roll bars, that's fine. Springs, max ride height, which is good. Got no arrow on it. And the differential, I want that to be about 70 on the rear wheels, 30 to the front. I, th I thought this was a dirt road. Actually, did I thought this was a dirt road? Um, unless this second bit's a dirt road. Ah, oh, no, I see it's there. Okay, hang on, we're almost there. Here we go. It sounds beautiful. I have to say. Ooh. A little bit on the slidey, but as long as it can handle itself. Okay, so this is the. Here we go, here we go. We're getting our off road on now. It's not too bad. It takes the bumps pretty well. It's got tons of grip. This could be reasonably competitive, I give it that. Oh Jesus, okay, that was my fault. It's got so much grip that I actually outturned myself on that corner. Get out of the way. Here we go. Yes. I think I definitely picked the right engine. You leveled up. Oh yes, this is beautiful. Woo! This is actually better than the extreme uh, off-road car I built for the extreme championship in the extra single player. That thing was ridiculous. Okay, a bit fast there, but it can handle it. I mean, straight back in, no problems at all. Woo! And I bet if I built this thing for speed, it would actually go as well. Okay, this is beautiful. I'd class this one as a success as well. As well as the Land Rover. Which is pretty, pretty nice. Let's just get down here. Let's try the, the handbrake turn. Yeah, it can hold that pretty nicely. Oh. So there you go, guys. That is the Datsun 
rally car. I think that was a pretty successful build. It's got the two and a half six litre V8 in it. Uh, two and a half six litre inline six. Sorry, I didn't mean to click buy cars. I meant show you the car. But there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and you might actually consider this car for your next rally build. 454 brake horsepower, 990 kilos, a 2.6 inline six. It's a nice car. And I'll see you in the next video.